What we're going to do is take a look at how to add a discussion into your Canvas course. So let's start in modules. So I, I wanted to add a discussion here that goes in line with the things that we're talking about, the things that we're watching right now in our film appreciation course. So click the plus symbol in the upper right. I want to add a discussion. Call it new topic. Um, so my discussion is going to be around the uh, Homer Simpson in the Quickie Mart. So um, the kids have been watching a bunch of Simpsons. Now we're going to have a discussion online about our film appreciation. So I'm going to click Add Item. So it's going to add it right into the current module that we're working in. This is really important. I know you can go over to Discussions and add it there. But if it's here in line, it's going to be much easier for the kids to find. Now we need to click on the title so we can go in there and edit it, add some things to it. So in the upper right, let's click Edit. We can add some information here. Here's the topic of the title. Here are the directions. This is probably the most important part of the whole entire discussion that we're going to post. There's a few loose parameters that you can kind of go with. All I'm going to do is cut and paste from the Canvas course itself because we kind of put these already there. So the overview. So what is the purpose or the objective of this discussion? You don't see the kids face to face, so you're going to need to put a little bit of overview here. Though again, I really do recommend writing it up for like Clueless Colin, your student who just stumbled upon this and is like, what am I supposed to do here? So instructions, something, um, something like really precise uh, should go here. So what exactly am I going to need to do to complete the discussion? Like how many original thoughts? How many times am I going to have to reply to my peers? Um, put something here in it about uh, maybe some of the very specific things I need to add. How am I going to reply to my peers? I could type, I could audio, I could video, but in a response, what does a good response look like? I don't really know, so it's really important to put it there. So would this be added uh, to the gradebook? Would there be points to this? Some discussion around discussions is don't have any points to it, especially the first couple of times. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Allow threaded replies. I would definitely say yes. So that way it's kind of uh, here's what Colin said and here's the response that Doug said. Kind of stack it up like that. This is nice also to say I have to put my original thought of Homer Simpson in the Quickie Mart before I can see anybody else's. I also like the allow liking. So I see Doug's response. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I can just click a, a like. Do you want this open the whole time or do you want it available like from, let's see, I don't know, yesterday all the way through uh, next Saturday. So the discussion will be open for that long. Don't forget to do save and publish. And now the discussion is ready for the kids to go in there and start their talking.